Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Cardiac Wire Show. My name is Jake Fishman. I'm the host of the show and the editor of the Cardiac Wire, and we have a great episode for you all today. We're going to be diving into uh, remote ECG monitoring and all the technology that goes into the services that providers across the country are relying on. And we have a great guest to dive into that topic. We have Brad Ummer from Flipside, and Brad's the founder at Flipside and has a wealth of knowledge in this area. And can't wait to learn all about it. Brad, welcome to the show. Well, thanks, Jake. It's great to have the opportunity to talk with you today. Uh, well, welcome. And uh, maybe just to get us start us off, you give us an introduction to yourself and your background at Flipside and, and you know, big picture what Flipside does. Absolutely. So I, I'm Brad Ummer, and I am the president and one of the three founders of Flipside Media. We actually started in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in 1997. So we've been around for a while. And it was the company was kind of founded when the internet was really starting to blossom and the ability to do things on the internet and in the cloud were just in their infancy. And we've grown since then into really a, a med tech company that has been now designing and creating and deploying and operating products, mostly for the healthcare markets for you know almost two decades now. And most of the work that we do is in some way leveraging uh, cloud technologies to allow for high volume collection of data. And a lot of that data is then processed or analyzed or reported. And most of it's done in uh, done with secure products that we create that have to operate in HIPAA and high tech compliant environments. Nearly two decades in med tech software makes you a, a, a real pioneer in that space. Uh, it's really impressive. Um, maybe if you can give us a, a better idea of the, the types of products, healthcare products that you do have in your portfolio and the impacts those products have had in terms of you know, reach and adoption. Our primary focus is over most of the time that we've been in business has been mostly around things that are related to diabetes and cardiac testing and monitoring. So those just uh, through our history have been the two things that have ended up being strong suits in our portfolios. And as I mentioned, we work with small clients, medium-sized clients, large clients. A couple examples I can give you. So um, we have a company that we started working with called Rejuven back in uh, 2016. They're a, a Pittsburgh-based startup, and they invented an electronic stethoscope. And it's a, a special electronic stethoscope that has a built-in ECG recorder attached to it. And this is an innovative product because it can synchronize the heart sounds along with the uh, electrical signals coming off the heart. And we work with them to create the, the platform, the technology platform that would uh, bring that to market. And once we did that, we uh, have continued to work with them over the last almost decade now to expand that out into multiple across the country and now into actually multiple continents. So that's kind of a smaller client that we've worked with, uh, although growing. Uh, on the larger side, we established a great relationship with the American Diabetes Association uh, almost 15 years ago. For them, we worked on creating a diabetes-focused platform that would provide for the delivery, um, documentation, and reporting specific to diabetes education. So we're saying one of the things that I'm picking up there is that there's this you know, real ecosystem of basically different vendors or players in the space and the way that, you know, different products um, or networks come together. And I'm curious if you work with partners separately that um, basically bring their technology to you and you help uh, bring those those products out to the market. Absolutely. So we have a very specific skill set that is within our domain and outside of that domain, we rely on partners either to be uh, content experts or other uh, for, to rely on them for other components of that. So for example, like the American Diabetes Association, uh, they are by far the, one of the top content experts in diabetes education and prevention in the country. And we've been working with them since the beginning to be able to incorporate their knowledge and their skill sets into our software that we create, the products that we create. Uh, and likewise, they also have 
national reach for diabetes educators that are providing these services. And we're able to tap into that network to be able to have our products work, uh, be uh, available to those providers across the country. Um, another example in the cardiac space is a company called Manibo. So when we were originally working with that Rejuven startup, the one with the electron stethoscope with the ECG recorder, we they needed to bring that to market and they needed to have a couple of pieces in their puzzle. So they had the piece of hardware, they didn't have the mobile app, they didn't have the software platform to operate all the functionality of the system, and they didn't have an algorithm to be able to do the analysis of the recordings. So we obviously were able to create the platform, create the mobile app, and we needed to go and find a company that could provide the algorithm to do the analysis. And at the time we conducted a review of the different companies that had algorithms in this area. And from everyone we talked to, Monibo's was considered the gold standard. So we reached out to Monibo and were able to partner with Monibo then to incorporate their software analysis product into our platform. And that was over 10 years ago. Uh, ever since then, we've continued to expand the use of Monibo's algorithms in additional other products and services that Flipside has been able to bring to market. Uh, tell me a little bit more about those other products and services. When we originally started again with, with Rejuven in 2016, we were focused just on their electronic, electronic stethoscope and ECG monitor. Uh, after that, subsequent to that, Rejuven actually released a second product that was a wearable patch that would allow for longer duration testing. So they could do alter, MCT, et cetera. So we worked with uh, Manibo to update their algorithm to be able to fit into the specific requirements that were necessary for the, uh, the, the new product that Rejuven was bringing to the market. And in, this included uh, expanding to different Bluetooth technology to be able, we were working with different Bluetooth technologies to gather the data, but then the sensors on the device were different and the, uh, the recording parameters were different. So we worked with Manibo to really expand their software to meet that specific need. Another uh, partner that we've worked with and that we've, that we've all worked with over the years is a company called Artella. And they're a Houston, Texas based company that has brought to market a uh, remote cardiac monitoring platform. And we worked with Artella to create the cloud-based infrastructure for their system. We worked on mobile app and then Monibo developed, again, another customized version of their algorithm that would meet the specific needs of Artella. And that was uh, more expansive than our previous work with Rejuven because Artella was able to, Artella had a need to be able to support multiple different patches um, multiple different uh, testing types, anything from a, a 24 hour halter up to a 30 day MCT. And for each of those different specific use cases, we would work with Monibo to ensure that the analysis that was being conducted was done in the most accurate way possible for that specific use case. So when you think about all your experience, um, bringing ECG technology, you know, to the service providers or to the technology providers, um, if you're Think about other folks who are maybe a little bit downstream in the ecosystem. So providers or the, the tech teams of providers, or maybe other startups who are just looking to bring ECG monitoring into their products or into their services. What type of advice do you have for them uh, to, to do this the right way? So I guess the, I would break my device into two different components. One would be the practical perspective. So the if you're looking to find a, a company or a product out there that can do your remote monitoring, the first thing you need to do is make sure that the the practical aspects are taken care of. So how good are the patches? Are they high quality patches? Are they comfortable comfortable for the patient? Um, are they easy to apply and reapply? Uh, what's the battery life for them? Do they have offline storage if they get disconnected? Is there a good mobile app that the patient has to use if they're doing reporting of symptoms? What's the onboarding process like? What's their customer support and patient support like? These are all things that sometimes I think get overlooked when you're just looking at technical specifications and uh, thinking of things from the clinical side. But then the other side would be the clinical side, where you want to make sure that the the data that's coming back to you is being able to be analyzed and responded to 
in a uh, easily and quickly responded to. So if there are issues that arise during the recordings, that there are people who are there 24 seven to be able to monitor and take action on those things. Uh, one of the things that Artella has that I think is a, a real uh, nice feature is as recordings are being recorded, uh, are being collected, if there are um, alerts that are being generated, the uh, referring physician has access to those and can be able to see those alerts in real time and then actually go in and, and have full access to the patient's live recording as it's actually coming into the system. And that's something that I think is, is a, a unique characteristic of how our tele system has been put together. And then of course, just the comprehensive, the comprehensive nature of the reports at the end of the study. So ensuring that they are not just accurate, but are easily to easily digested, easy to understand, um, clearly presented and comprehensive, I think are all medical aspects, clinical aspects of the service that you'd be wanting to select. That you'd want to make, definitely keep in mind. This is uh, so interesting, Brad. And it's, you know, it's cool to hear about. It's, it's not uh, a part of, you know, healthcare technology that I spent a lot of time thinking uh, that, you know, the folks who are in your seat, who are basically taking this technology and bringing it to the people who might deliver it to the providers, or to the patients. And it's so neat to hear about you know, what you've built at Flipside and kudos for that. And then how you've worked with Manebo to basically take this ECG monitoring technology and bring it to the, the service providers or technology vendors who are, are making it a reality for the patient. So uh, kudos to you, really impressive what you've done with Manebo. And uh, thanks so much for coming on. Uh, to the folks who are watching, hopefully you learned a thing or two. If you're on, you know, the technology side and you're looking for a partner, it seems like Flipside's a really good partner for that. And if you're a technology side looking for an ECG provider, then kind of the same thing. Um, Manibo is a really great partner for you to basically take your idea or your technology and, and bring it to life and bring it to your patients. Well, thanks, Jake. It's really been great talking to you.